Can y'all see me? Yeah, y'all can see me. What's up, y'all? I did my hair. I had to redo. Uh -huh. Just had to redo. Cause I didn't like that. It wasn't. I wasn't digging the way it was looking. So I was like, let me redo what I had going on. Cause it wasn't looking right to me. If you do hair for a living, you understand where I'm coming from. Be like to everybody else, it look good, but to you, it'd be like, mm, mm, mm. nah, it could be better. That's me. <laughs> I'm that one. Don't let me do your hair. I'm a perfectionist. That's my best friend. She'll tell you. Okay, look, I got this today. I don't know if you guys like have seen them. They're all, like all over Facebook and Instagram and whatnot. Um, those cute like water bottles. And I was like, oh, I want one of those. I drink a whole lot of water. So I got the gallon. It's by Hydromate. And I got this cute little insulation bag to go with it, which I love this because when I leave the house, I do take my water with me. I actually have um, another water bottle that I, was, that I use that I also love because um, I put ice in it. And I'm not lying, y'all. Like, okay, when my husband makes my, he'll he'll make my water cup for me. So he'll do my water and he puts ice in it like the night before. And then the next day, like when he comes home, there's still ice. So it keeps it cold, which I love. But it doesn't come with the carrying thing. It just comes with a handle. I didn't bring it in here with me, so I can't show you um, my bag. It's by Zach, um, for those of you who like, are real big water bottle fanatics. I am. I care about where my water bottle comes from. I'm very big on that. So, yeah. It's by Zach. Um, and it's like one of those water bottles that just insulates your... It keeps whatever's hot, hot, and whatever's cold, cold. So, I love that. Um, but it doesn't come with like a carrying case. It just comes with like this handle. And it's like a lot to deal with. I don't really like carrying it around a lot and it doesn't come with a straw so it's one of those you like have to drink out of it I have my reusable straws if you guys haven't noticed I've been on a real big um low waist kind of kick and I'm really big on that right now especially like the fact that you know I have kids now and you you read all the chemicals and stuff that they put in crap and it just it scares you as a parent okay so I have reusable straws, the metal ones, and I, I stick it in there and that's my straw and that's still stressful. And then when it tips over, sometimes it leaks and that drives me insane. I'm going on about water bottles, but I'm serious. Like I'm a water fanatic, y'all. I don't play. So this comes with the insulation case and, and a, it comes with a strap. I can't. You see that? this is a win as a mom as a mom this is a win like for real so you know yeah i'm real happy about this okay i'm my my i'm done i went three minutes doing all that i'm done i'm finished now i actually came on here to show you guys some more stuff that I got for the baby shower. Unfortunately, I will not be unboxing. I will do a full blown like baby shower haul video, especially after the baby shower because some of this stuff I am just getting in the mail. Granted, some of it is coming from family that is coming, but um, you know, when you order off the registry, it just ships to the house. So I did want to do like also a validation. Like I'm not opening it until you guys get here so you can see me open it because I know that they're coming. Um, so yeah, I did want to just show you a few more things that I did get. Um, and then talk about a few things that I am looking forward to getting or that I am just going to end up getting. Because, you know, Jesus, kids are expensive and like a lot this is great okay so i did want to start off by saying that you guys know that i am on a full-blown cloth diapering journey which i am very very excited to start i can't wait um i know some people are not down with touching poop 
I get it. I'm not here to convince anybody to cloth diaper. I'm not here to convince anybody that my methods are better than their methods. I'm simply here just to state that this is what I prefer and this is what I'm going to do and how I find it convenient for me and my family. If you end up finding what I'm saying beneficial, then by all means, ask me as many questions as you want. I'm I'm all for answering. I did all of my research. I've talked to other moms that do cloth diaper and who actually have stuck by it for more than just one kid. They've done all of their kids or they've done, you know, what I did and had their first baby and then was like, why didn't I know about this sooner? And then did it for the rest of their kids. Um, we are going to have one more baby after this. Um, so we're going to cloth diaper with that baby as well. So it's also beneficial to do it that way i had to reach for this because some of his stuff is in here so i'm gonna start off with the diapers a lot of diapers i did show you in one video that um they the diapers looked like this but they were bigger i don't know if a lot of you remember that but they were um they were much bigger than this but like isn't that cute the color and it kind of matches not really but you know kind of just a little bit and it's so soft on the inside which is like really good for baby so um for those of you don't, that don't know i'm really big on alva baby right now alva baby is a very trusted cloth diapering brand besides um like bum genius and bum genius i did not go with them because it's like 20 dollars a diaper there's another one that's called charlie banana i think or something like that something like that but they're also expensive for like one diaper is like 20 bucks but those are all-in-one diapers and i don't know if i explained it in the last video but the all-in-ones they have like everything attached in it it's, you know like a lot going on um but you basically don't have to insert anything everything is all right there so when you change the diaper you kind of just take it off and throw it in the wash um, I do want to try one or two all-in-ones, but so far I've actually been stuck on the inserts. These are pocket diapers by Alva Baby. They're the newborn size, and I believe they go from 8 to 15 pounds. That's why they're so tiny. Do I have a reference diaper? I don't. I'd have to get up. And they're like, they're like right there, but I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I don't feel like showing y'all my struggle of trying to get up with this stomach because let me let me show y'all something this is this is my stomach right now this is junior he's leaving me stretch marks but you know it's okay i'm creating life that's fine i have been using like bio oil and coconut oil and cocoa butter and it's not working so whatever suggestions you have believe me i've tried they don't work my skin hates me um but the original ones that I have they're a lot bigger than this these are newborns and these are the newborn inserts to do a comparison okay so these are the newborn inserts for and then this is like regular inserts so now you can see the difference in size so I got a bunch of these and simply just because I I knew that I was going to need some to fit his tiny little butt when he came out. I didn't want to just have to do disposable and then um, do cloth when he got big enough to fit the ones that I had. And I kind of wanted to go straight into cloth without even having to try anything else. So, or do anything else. Let me put it like that. So these are really, and they're so tiny. Like, <laughs> I'm having another little person. I, I have a little person, but it's just, it's crazy because I'm having another little person. It's bananas. But yeah, when you're done doing all the snaps, you kind of see how, how tiny. It's a little person. So I mean, and this is like on the last, on the first snap row. So I found these by Alba Baby and I got them in a whole bunch of different little colors. I did get solids for his um, newborn because I am gonna do like the pocket diapers. And then my doula is so awesome. She also cloth diapered. So she has like cloth diapers left over or that she has saved. 
and she's also going to give me those and those come with them pre-folds and I'm really excited about the pre-folds because when they're tiny too, pre-folds are really helpful instead of having to buy like a whole bunch of newborns and then not being able to use them again. The pre-folds, you'll be able to use them no matter how big they get. So that's also, also beneficial. And pre-folds usually go in ones like this. Um, these aren't pocket, they're covers. And you would do the pre-fold, see like the old school cloth diaper ring that I'm pretty sure like your grandparents and stuff did. And then you would just put this over them. And it's just like a, a decorative cover. It has elephants on it, so cute. So yeah. The reason why I went into that was because my cousin Shira, I love her, she's almost like my sister. Well, she is my sister. So yeah. But she bought me these inserts and you guys know how I feel about charcoal. They're very good. You get a lot of, like, I heard a lot of good things about the charcoal inserts and the hemp inserts. And then um, I haven't heard a lot of good reviews about microfiber. Me, personally, I don't have any bad reactions to microfiber, and neither does Peyton. So I don't think that our my baby would have any. I doubt it. Um, but just in case we do have like other smaller inserts and stuff, but the charcoal I really am sticking to just because they're a thicker, a, they have like a thicker material and the absorbency is a lot better. So they'll really be good for when it's overnight diapering, which is like awesome. And then just, they're just more organic than, um, than anything else out on the market besides the hemp which I'm also gonna get. So she bought me these. She's really amazing. The only reason why I open these is because I actually have to put it in the the diaper bin to be washed because you do have to wash these before you um before you let baby use them and you get like a whole bunch of inserts it's like a lot of these and I'm really big on getting more inserts than diapers simply because you do end up having to like double up or whatever so inserts are like life right now um and then yeah so besides the cloth diapering, I got these. They're wet bags to go with the cloth diapers. Um, they're just like regular like waste bags, but they're portable. So when he uses the bathroom and we have to change his diaper in public, that's lined on the inside so that you don't actually um, like wet the outside of the bag. It keeps everything contained. Also the smell. So, and it's also by Alpha Baby. And you get two, and I, I put two sets on my registry. This is one. There's another set, and they're like 10 bucks for the two. So $5 a bag. This is not that bad. If you go to like Target or something and try to find a wet bag, which I have done, it's like 25 bucks. Please. Amazon is a lifesaver, okay? These you also have to wash to condition them. My mother-in-law gave us this which I thought was really neat. It's a humidifier. Um, I think my husband had told her about my problem right now with my sinuses, which I am having like a really, I have sinus problems in general, but ever since we moved up the mountain, I have been having problems with my sinuses and kind of keeping everything in check. And it gets really hard for me to breathe. Um, so she gave us the humidifier. I wanted to use it for the baby simply because it comes with these essential oils in it already. Um, again, I'm not going to open it until the baby shower, uh, so it's going to go on the gift table, but, um, I am really excited about this. It comes with a uh, lavender, rose, and vanilla. I'm not really a big vanilla smell kind of fan. I don't know what it is. It just stinks, yo. You know? Yeah, doesn't work for me. But you know, to each his own. Some people out there love vanilla. Is that my cat? And my daughter nuts. okay so yeah i am really excited about this and the humidifier changes color so i know that it looks like it has like different color tops and stuff no the top looks like this and then it just changes colors which is really really cool um i am really happy about this i am gonna use this for when he's born because when peyton was born she had sinus problems granted she was born in the winter time this baby will be born in the summertime but um i don't know i think my kids just automatically inherit my sinus problems so yeah 
this will be a big help she also bought this plug-in for vix and you kind of just stick these vix stick things in there and it it clears up my sinuses too so that is also awesome i also got this moby sling that's so cute isn't it i love this it's a carrier just like any other carrier that you would get i know some people like the snaps and the buckles and stuff and they're like oh, i feel like my baby's gonna slip out or i'm gonna drop them completely understand um but my first baby carrier was actually a moby wrap and i was like really happy with that thing it made me and it was super comfortable for her especially since I nursed so it was like really convenient because I would be out and she was really tiny and I would just have her in the wrap and then it would be easier for me to just like cover her up like put the the wrap piece over her while she nursed and I'm out so I really like that I actually still have that I think I put it up somewhere I don't know where it is um and then I have a few more on my registry because they come in different sizes and me and Jason, we need different sizes, obviously. He's like, he's like 6'4", weighs like 240. He's a big dude, okay? So he needs like a larger size than I do. But the sling comes in one size and it carries baby from eight pounds to 33 pounds. And you can do all these different um, things with it. So it's not just the sling, but you can do it as a wrap or anything like and then it shows it shows like other products as well that, you know, in comparison. And for me, the sling is really no comparison. I just feel like it's a little bit more intimate when it comes to baby. And I think it's just a little bit more convenient. I did find a company that is black owned. It's owned by a black woman um, who also makes these and they're beautiful they are like a hundred and forty dollars i am gonna get at least like one or two of them um because they're made out of pure cotton and i do want to support my black businesses out there you feel me i have to so you know i do like moby but i am gonna get a few by her um and they come at 74 inches which if you guys don't know that's like really long so that's awesome i'm gonna do that and then I got this breastfeeding kit from my cousin Shira slash sister. She also bought me the inserts. Um, let me tell y'all, I'm having such a hard time not opening this. It has been such a struggle. And how I'm going to go the next two weeks, I'm telling you, it's beyond me. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to make it. I really don't but I will I will persevere because I'm trying to be a good girl it's just really hard because I really like gifts like a lot okay so but she bought me a, a bunch of stuff from kind um for those of you that don't know what kind is it is a like a breast milk storage company um, they also have their own pumps and stuff, but they mainly do focus on like breastfeeding, just breastfeeding in general. So this is a insulated cooling bag for when you want to take breast milk on the road. I mean, this would be mainly for my husband, not really for me, because if I'm on the road and I'm there, then I don't really need this because... I have these so you know but this is actually really beneficial for him because baby will be breastfed strictly no for, no formula um so i want him to be able to carry with him and have access at all times um and then the gift set that i'm having such a hard time not opening and i'm telling you it's really a struggle y'all this is the twist the kind twist gift set and the reason why I really wanted this is because look at everything it comes with. She got it. She got it first. Mind you, it's like it was, I think, like $100 or something like that at Target. And it's also like that on um, like at Walmart and Bye Bye Baby. I put it on Amazon and she got it for 65 bucks. OK, that's a come up. Stop playing with me. And it comes with all of this. 
and I'm really happy that it comes with the warmer because me and my husband, we did have a long discussion about who gets to feed baby in the middle of the night. You know that you're, you're, you know that your parents, when you have to argue with your spouse about who gets to feed the kids, like why, why are we even arguing about this? But yeah, that's what we argued about. Um, so in the end, I gave in because I'm like, yeah, it is fair that he gets to feed baby too. Why should I take all the joy? Um, so the kind twist set was actually our best bet. I did get a free, what is it called? Sample thingy in the mail. Um, so that I can kind of just have one for free which is really cool if you guys don't know me i'm always posting about what you can get for free always and i'm very serious about it if you guys ever want to know what it is that you can get for free just let me know because i i have went through everything and i've gotten free almost everything from everywhere i got a free haka breast pump too um for those of you that don't know what the haka breast pump is it's the one that just is like the silicone weird shaped thing and you kind of just attach it to your boob and you squeeze and then you let go and boom you're pumping no doing anything else it just does it by itself like a drain it's really cool um i can't wait to try that out i also have one by newbie that I also got for free so yeah that's awesome so the kind storage breast milk bags they look like this which is really cool and yeah it's like a cap and all that and this is the free thingy um and so it comes with adapters for any kind of pump and these are the smaller ones the adapters are for Medela, Philips Avent, which I like to use. That's my preferred brand. Um, Tommy Tippy, The First Years, Lansano. I don't really like Lansano that much, and I really don't like their um, nipple creams either because they're too like too thick and too abrasive. Um, Evenflow, Playtex, Amita, Spectra. I don't like Spectra. I feel like they're a little too expensive for what they are, and some brand called Ardo and Hygieia, which I've never heard of before in my life. So not even gonna go there. But they give you four adapters, two small ones and two big ones to adapt to whatever pump you're gonna use. Once you're done pumping directly into the bag, you can, like I said, store it. Um, adapters do come with this one as well and adapters for nipples as well. Um, which comes in the gift set, which I'm so, I'm so happy about this gift set. And then you kind of just store it in this box. This this is for like if you keep it in the fridge. And then um, you can just kind of stack them up in the deep freezer, which we're going to get in like a couple of weeks, um, which I'm really excited about. So you store it. When you're done, you kind of slide it in. You just slide it in from the bottom and you snap it in. This was a lot easier when I tried it the first time. Okay, here we go. You just snap it in like that. And then the nipple is connected to the top and you kind of just pop it in and boom, bottle, just like that. No problems. I thought this would be super convenient for my husband and also convenient for anybody that really wants to feed baby um, to have that bonding time, especially grandparents. Like I know for my mother-in-law and my father-in-law, you know, you can't really bond like that if I'm sitting here and he's attached to me and I'm feeding him. So I thought this would be really cool for them as well. They would be able to have the ability to feed him and you know, be able to bond with him. And I, I thought that was helpful. Um, and for my husband, cause you know, he's, he's a brat and he's spoiled. He won't admit it, but he is, he's spoiled. <laughs> um, okay, and then this, this is the Ingenuity rocking seat. I'm not gonna try to pick it up cause it is kind of heavy. Um, this is the Ingenuity rocking seat. Can you see? Hold on. Okay, can you see? Yeah. Okay, it goes, look at the age. It goes from zero months to two and a half, which I think is awesome. 
um and it comes with like the the mobile and i like the fact that it not only rocks but it bounces as well and if i'm not mistaken there's also uh vibrations that you can put on it um which is really good the fabric i did when i looked at it in the store i looked at it at bye bye baby before i put it on my registry my best friend got me this off of my bye bye baby registry um, when I went to go look at it, the material is super, super soft. It's really comfortable. It's like a cloud. It's really, really comfortable. Um, and it has different reclining positions. So baby's not really like your newborn baby's not really sitting up like this in this bouncer. And it also has the vibrations. And if I'm not mistaken, it also makes noises. Um, I can't remember. But another thing that really got me about this is there's a stand in the back and you can you see how you can lower and raise so baby's like your brand new baby's not sitting like straight up you know you can lower it and lock it so that it doesn't like rock or bounce and it it's just i love this i really do i love this this was like one of when this came in the mail i almost cried and then she had me thinking she was back in california and she wasn't She's still in Florida. We, we're not going to go there, though. I'm choosing to be mad about that. Just, yeah, she made me mad about that. Who moves to Florida? Like, Florida? Really? Florida? Okay. So, yeah. That was awesome. And then the very last thing that I want to show you guys, it's not off the registry. I actually bought this. I got it from Bye Bye Baby. And I'm sure that you guys have seen these quite often. Um, but I'm really excited because I, I got one. Yay! <laughs> We're going to take it to the birthing center with us. Um, because we are doing a birthing story. Um, I did give my midwife full-blown permission to take pictures and record and post and all of that. Because I do feel like having a natural birth experience is really important especially for any woman who doesn't you know or has not ever had um, a natural birthing experience I feel like that's also really important for them to also see that you know having a midwife is absolutely 100% awesome you don't need a doctor I mean if you're high risk or if you're just one of those people that's like no I need a hospital for real then okay I get it but me after doing all the research that I did and understanding that, you know, having or midwifery is really just how everything was done back in the day and being able to labor and give birth naturally and freely at my own will and how I'm how I'm comfortable really meant something to me and my husband. So um, that is the reason why I'm really like adamant on, you know, pictures and you know, yeah, you can post videos or do whatever. Like, I'm okay with that because I really think that it's a beautiful experience. I honestly do. And I think that if I can do it, then anybody can do it. Because let me tell you, having a baby is not easy. If this is your first baby, I'm not going to scare you. But labor does hurt. It do. But I don't recommend getting an epidural. And the reason why I say that is because... um. When I had my daughter, I made it all the way up until I was about like eight and a half, almost nine centimeters before they gave me an epidural. I know that was pointless. I get it. Again, it was my first baby. Don't pass judgment. I understand. Okay. I learned from my mistakes. But I basically made it all the way there um, without any drugs. And it was painful. But what's more painful now is the constant ache that I have like in the, it's on the, right side like in the middle of my back almost but further to the right it's a constant pain that I have that doesn't go away and um it gets worse during the winter time or when I sit in an uncomfortable position for so long like I'm doing right now it's not really uncomfortable it's just weird because I sit on a concrete slab at my house and why we bought a house that sits on a concrete slab i cannot tell you oh because i don't like basements that's creepy <laughs> no so yeah but it's it's 
it gets painful. So I don't advise an epidural. I really, really don't, especially off the bat. Like I would never advise that you get a epidural just going straight in. Because if you can, if you feel like you can take it, then take it. Because I'm serious, after you have the baby, after they come out, after you push that baby all the way out, all the pain goes away. It's gone. Which was fascinating to me because my epidural ended up wearing off anyway in the middle of me pushing. There was no point in the epidural. In the epidural. I'm just, it was no point. But it ended up fading off like while I was pushing. So I ended up feeling everything anyway. And by the time she popped out, it was like a sudden relief. She came out and everything went away and my body kind of went into rest mode. It went into like relief mode because now I'm worried about this awesome little girl that I just had and I'm no longer worried about all of that horrible pain that I just went through. Like, and it's just, it's, it's not that bad. Honestly, it's really not. When you think about the reward in the end, it's not that bad. So when I chose to do natural birthing, I thought about it. Like the pain that I went through was awful, but it went away. And that's all I could think about. Like, yeah, it was awful, but it went away. As soon as they come out, it goes away. So there's really no point at that point. You know, there's, you might as well just tough it out and call it a day. And I really want other mothers out there to see how important it is to just have that kind of ability to know what your body can do and to be able to do what it is that God created your body to do, which is have these babies and be able to have it without any medication. Us as women, we're very, very strong. We can do whatever we put our minds to. So please don't let these doctors tell you otherwise because these doctors will sit there and feed you full of lies and tell you that it is not possible. I had a doctor, well, I had an OBGYN at Kaiser that told me that since I already had an epidural, that having another one during this pregnancy, well, during labor for this baby would be my best bet because um, I wouldn't be able to take the pain. You don't know me. You're like the fifth OBGYN I've seen in the past 15 weeks of my pregnancy. You do not know me. How are you going to tell me what I'm what I am capable of handling without even knowing why it is I got the epidural in the first place? So, yeah, no, don't listen to these doctors. They they will tell you anything, especially as a first time mom, they will tell you anything. My OBGYN when I had my daughter was so discouraging. Me and him ended up arguing in the delivery room. Why am I arguing with my doctor while I'm pushing out my baby? Like who, who, who has to, does who, who, why? Like who has to do that? And he said over here telling me I'm not pushing. It's just, that was a, that's a long story. I'll tell you guys that birth story a, a, another day. I'll dedicate a, a video completely to that birthing story. But yeah, don't, especially if you're a first time mom, don't let these doctors bully you because they will. They'll tell you what they think is best and oh, you don't know anything. This is your first baby especially male doctors, because it's like, how do you know more than me and you're a man? What baby have you pushed out? None. They won't tell you that, but none. They don't know nothing. That medical degree don't mean nothing to me. But that, you know. Anyways, yes. So this going to the birthing center, I'm dropping it off. Um, well, I'm not dropping it off. I'm taking it with me. That way when my midwife, Robin, she's awesome, by the way. I love my midwife. She's so great. And my doula, Amber, who is also awesome. She's also great. I can't wait to have my birthing experience with these two lovely women. Um, I do want to take a picture uh, with this, my husband and baby, all of us together with all of his information filled in. And I'm really hoping not just me, but the entire family. We're really hoping that this is his date of birth only because um, because I'm named after my great grandmother. Her name was Ivy. My name is Ivy. And May 19th is actually her birthday. So everybody's like, that'll be really amazing if you had him on her birthday and you're named after her. That would be really special for everyone. So we're really, really, really shooting for that due date. Um, I mean, we're crossing our fingers, dog. I'm just, 
I'm really, really hoping. Um, and then last and final thing that I did want to touch base on, if you guys are coming to my baby shower, um, believe me, it's not a big, big deal if you don't buy anything off my registry. I'm not one of those people who's like, I have a registry, why don't you buy it off of that? I'm so good. A gift is, is a gift. And even if you don't give me anything, you showing up is a, just amazing for me. I just want to spend time with my family and my friends. So there's that. Um, but if you are coming to the baby shower and you do want to buy me something, you just don't know what to get off the registry. I did place gift cards as an option. Of course, you don't have to buy gift cards off the registry. Of course, you can go to either one of my three registered spots and get gift cards and it'll be perfectly fine if you don't know what to get that's fine give me a gift card and i'll go get it um but there is one thing that i really really do want and i i will post a link to it um in the description box right here but um it's the frida baby postpartum or freedom mom postpartum kit and the reason why i put that on there is because because i'm having the baby at a birthing center and not at a hospital i will not have access to the postpartum kits that you receive at the hospital my midwife will give me a few things far as far as postpartum but it won't be like the full entire get down that you get from the hospital and i thought that the freedom mom postpartum kit would actually be really perfect to have in that instance because simply because it just it comes with everything that you need um especially if you've had a baby vaginally you understand what i'm where i'm coming from i won't get like the duraplast or like the eucalyptus stuff and the really comfy underwear i did think about purchasing underwear from she thinks if you guys don't know what that is she thinks is a free like a free bleed movement kind of thing i'm not down with the free bleed don't don't mistake that as like oh yeah you're down with the free no i'm not but the underwear are made specifically for periods and um i was really thinking about getting a couple of those underwear to wear postpartum just because they're really comfortable and i think that it would be really beneficial for me but the free to mom postpartum kit comes with like a few pairs of underwear or like diapers basically for women um, and they come with like the pads that you can put in the freezer to help cool everything down down there. And they also come with the peri bottle. Um, and the peri bottle that they give you in hospital kind of looks like the one that you use con like for condiments. This is really inconvenient because you kind of have to like readjust your arm in a weird way and stick your hand in the toilet and kind of like rinse. And I, everybody that's had a baby vaginally, you understand where I'm coming from. I'm like, that's uh, kind of like it. But it helps though because it's just like so relieving but at the same time you kind of don't want to have to go through all that just to rinse yourself off because you can't wipe after you have a baby so you don't have a choice you have to rinse um the peri bottle that comes in the freedom mom postpartum kit is pink and it, it the nozzle comes at an angle like this so you actually all you have to do is just hold it upside down with your hand and the bottle so outside of the toilet and squeeze and you still rinse and clean yourself so it comes with all of those things and i just i really would appreciate it if somebody did get me that because don't forget that my baby shower is not just a baby shower it's also my birthday so it's okay to get mom something too you know it won't hurt it would be nice just gonna drop that little dime there mom, are you so um, with that being said, I think that, I think that's it. That's all I have to say. If I have anything else to say, I will come back and just inform you guys later. Um, my daughter wants me to come watch Boss Baby with her for like the hundredth million time in the row. So I'm going to go do that. And you guys have a beautiful blessed day. Stay gorgeous. Stay safe. Don't do anything stupid. And be kind. <laughs>